Do you think men should always pay for dinner? What do you find most attractive in a woman? What is the biggest deal breaker? Do you care if a girl is taller than you? How Jeez. many people have you kissed? Power of God and anime on my side. What's up, y'all? Yeah. This is Mike Go K Vlogs. You know, we're back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's right? snowing outside. Oh, yeah. What the heck is up, YouTube? <laughs> hey, guys, it's Micah, and today I am here with the boys. <laughs> I'm Henry. Mike here. Dylan. Yo. <laughs> Yo. And Ray. And George. And Michael. I'm Jonathan. I'm Juan. I'm Damian. We're asking questions to boys that girls are too scared to ask. Mm -hmm. Well, there's some other fun ones mixed in, but for the most part, we're just gonna give you all the tea. We'll start with something easy. What are y'all's majors? Accounting. Finance. Integrative studies. Criminal justice with a minor in behavioral <clears throat> analysis. Ooh. Math. Math. The CIA. <laughs> Sports management. Oh, are we filming or is this yeah. a picture? No, it's, no, it's filming. <laughs> oh, we know questions like this? Yeah. 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 Oh. Go around and say your heights. 5'11, 5'8, 6'1. If day is 5'8, I'm 6'2. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> no, no. Alright, we'll do one more one more basic one. Warm up question. Warm up, warm up question. Warm up question. Yeah. Yeah. I hate just sweat, darling. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Inception. Cash Me If You Can. Interstellar. Pride and Prejudice or Dear John? Oh, oh, yeah. boy. My favorite movie is the original Scream movie. My favorite movie is Batman the Dark Knight because justice never stops. Yeah. <laughs> How many people have you kissed? I've kissed one girl. I am I'm still waiting for my first kiss. Ooh, okay. I like that. I have kissed five girls. <laughs> Telling one, is two, up. Eight. Eight girls. I would say six or seven. I definitely don't keep count. That's weird. Eight or nine. What is a red flag in girls? Mm. Uh, ooh, that's a tough question. Snap score over a million. All right, girls. So if you have a snap, score, <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Sorry, this video is not for you. <laughs> no, that's tough. I don't really like. Like, red flag like, flag I won't say Android users. Yes. <laughs> Someone who has a YouTube channel. No. <laughs> My red flag for girls is when they post literally every single second of their life on Snapchat or like Instagram mm. stories. Mm. Ooh, so I'm saying that if you post a story while you're crying. Ooh, thirst trap. Thirst traps. Thirst traps. Ooh, I actually got one. Trap. Yeah. Oh, I'm I, hate, trap. I hate when girls be posting pictures like this. Thirst traps. At what point in a relationship do you think it's time to go public on social media? Never. Mm. Never. Red flag. Never. <laughs> I mean, when you're both, when you're both comfortable with each other, and you realize, like, hey, after you guys had that conversation, I'll okay. start talking. Thoughts stage. on soft releases. I love soft releases. I love it. Like, hey, I'm in a relationship. Well, like you post on your story with a girl, you don't show her face. You don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's like, like uh, it's like discreet or like you it's know. It's mysterious. It's like um, only you I'm a, two I'm a kind of. Okay, so we have two weirds, indifferent, you no. like it. I'll probably say like once the relationship has been like established, mm -hmm. it's not like just starting out like y'all been dating for a good minute. Nobody cares. Like nobody's gonna look at your post and be like, oh my gosh, they're dating? <laughs> it's kinda like it's kinda <laughs> like recording <laughs> fireworks. Like do people actually watch those videos? Okay, that's true. Uh, no. <laughs> that's a red flag. That's a red flag. <laughs> if you record if you record for July, July, live fireworks. videos of the fireworks. Are y'all really just <laughs> why are y'all really dating if y'all don't post? Great. <laughs> right, make sure it didn't happen. Yeah, I guess for me, I think it just really depends on who the girl is. I mean, there are some girls who want to be posted. Now, a girl that wants to be posted 24-7, that's a red flag. People feel like it's a necessity to post relationships on social media. It's not at all. It's the same thing as kind of Henry and Jonathan. It's just kind of where you're comfortable, if you're comfortable where you're at, but it also depends on the person, you know, because not everyone is like that and wants that. Have you ever gotten a manicure or a pedicure? Yeah, I've gotten both. We love yeah. a man who takes care of his feet. I have not gotten a mani-pedi. I have got both done. I have also <laughs> had both of them done. And I even had little fish eat the dead skin off of my feet. See, I'm, oh, I'm too yeah. scared. I have to wash it. That was Like, I'm too scared to get a fish to eat. I've had both and my mom paid for it. Finesse that. <laughs> I've had both and my favorite would have to be the manicure because like, yeah. I don't know, I just love because it. Because you're a man. I love my hands being the <laughs> What is the biggest deal breaker? I guess if a girl doesn't like cats, because I love cats, so... Hey, wow. man, brother. You would not hey, date your soulmate if she didn't like cats? You're telling She's me not my hey. soulmate if she doesn't like cats, right? Definitely Faith. Definitely Faith. Mm. Oh, oh, dang it. Yeah. That's a good answer. Good answer. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. She cannot be an athlete. My deal breaker is she's not a Christian. Let me change my answer. You know what that is? No, I respect the variety. Yeah. I feel like that's an unspoken for all of us. My deal breaker is like she's wanting too much from me. So what's the difference between effort and like how do you balance that? Yeah, I want effort, but like, like I have a routine throughout the day: work out in the morning, mm. do my school work, and then after that, I'm free. So like, if she tried to like cut into that time, mm. into like the time oh, that I have mm. for myself, okay. I would say for me, probably not liking kids. Messy or dirty? Mm. Just like dirty. 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 Yeah. <laughs> dirty. 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 Sorry, and ladies. The second oh, one is, is if they take life way too seriously. Mine are kind of similar to. You know, it's like being too serious. That's definitely one of mine. Like, if you can't open up to me and trust me with your problems, then I just, I don't know, there's gotta be that type of connection and trust. Okay, what is the best advice you've ever received? If you're not first, you last. One was my grandfather, I believe is very, very good. Yeah, two eyes, two ears, two parts of your brain, one mouth. So you should think, listen, and hear twice as much as you talk. The second one was, a ship is safest in port, but that's not what it's made for. My sister told me this, because uh, I tend to overthink a lot and just reflect on my past mistakes a lot. And she told me that you did the best with what knowledge you had back then. You can only control your reaction. My grandfather actually told me when I was a little pup, little boy. A little pup. Uh, <laughs> Why would you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> little pup, little, little, little thing. No, but my grandpa told me when I was younger, um, I was learning how to swim. He told me that perception is everything, that if I can swim in one foot of water, that I can swim in 100 feet of water because it's not about how deep the water is, it's about staying afloat. So growing up, my dad would always place a special emphasis on education and constantly learning. He'd read a book to me before I went to sleep. He would say, it was a super short quote, but he's like, you know what happens when you read? You'll learn. You can't oftentimes control what happens to you, but you can not control how you react. And a single one was actually a quote from Abe Lincoln that says, it's better to remain silent and have others think you a fool than to speak up and remove all doubt. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. What is your ideal first date? <laughs> what was all the questions? Were we date Laka? Was that one? <laughs> Okay, yeah, actually, the answer is yes. Would you date Micah? <laughs> and if you would, well, yes. what would your ideal date be? Take her to a nice restaurant nice. In, in Dallas. In Dallas. Yeah. Pay for her. Aww. Yeah. Aww. And now there's a, there's a restaurant named the Henry in Dallas. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then go watch the sunset. Aww. I would take Micah to Mod. It's my favorite pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Mod's pizza. I know. Mod. I know. No, 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 no. And then afterwards, we'd go for a walk and just talk. I, I would person. say no to dating Micah because I'm dating one of her best friends. Yeah, that'll be awkward. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> so, but my <laughs> ideal first date going to like the airport park and like watching, Ooh, that's watching awkward. like the sunset, okay, okay. a picnic basket with some like handmade <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So we would go to a nice uh, Mexican restaurant. Oh, it's okay. Get some ice cream after, Ooh. and just walk around and find a fountain or something. Just keep chatting. Oh, a fountain! Ooh, yeah. A fountain! Ooh. Are, are you gonna toss a penny in? Love You're making water. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my ideal date would be an arcade. Let's do that one. CC's? Okay. No. <laughs> no. 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 For real, no, Loki. Take her to a wing place. See what type of girl you're dealing with. You know? <laughs> she, she just goes all in. You know, if she's boneless and phoned in, make sure she don't eat the nuggets. Yeah. And then afterwards, we will get ice cream. We will go to a park and just look at the stars and have them. Conversation. Mm, that's good. Mm. What if it's like? Oh my! Go go cloud. All right, Jonathan. <laughs> so likewise to Juan, I would take Micah to Mod Pizza, mm. and then that's since so her awesome. birthday is in December, we would go see Christmas lights afterwards. Ooh, okay, her birthday's so not in December. December date. December date. You'd only ask her out if so it's her birthday. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a birthday yeah. once a year? Birthday birthday once a, year. Date. Oh, yeah. a, date, a date once a exactly. year? Exactly. Only in December? Yeah. Then we would go to this lake spot I have. Ooh. Where I'm from. And then we watch the sunset. We start a fire. Where I'm from. Have, from. have some s'mores. <laughs> when was the last time you cried? Oh, yeah, sometime last summer. Me, last Friday. When was the last month? Uh, mine was like a couple days ago. I know the date. It was January 22nd. Last Friday. Do you care if a girl is taller than you? No. Yes. No. Yes. Depends on how tall. I'm mean, six one. I would say no. Uh, you're six one. It does yeah. not matter. Well, well, I was gonna answer that other question we didn't get to. Oh, the crush. The crush mine. Yeah. Who? Oh, oh yeah. Well, oh. It's recorded. Yeah, it's like, recorded. Like, like, I was gonna ask my cat on a date last semester. Oh. oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Nope. 
Uh, for me, it would... Oh, yeah, true, true. Wait, so, so, is there so you, you still have a crush? Me? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, this is a thumbnail! <laughs> this is a thumbnail! I guess the world will never know. Oh. It's a girl from a high school. Mm. Hometown crush. High school good lovers. Um, but I'll say mine. <laughs> So oh, I wonder if I don't think I really have a crush. Who's crush? Yeah. Well, Mikey, you got some fans because um, I've been crushing on you a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's a That's a That's a There's two. There's two. There's two. There's two. There's two. There's two. So you're admitting you still like her? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Michael, 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 Michael. 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 Oh, it was, it was, it was my math yeah, class. Just, she couldn't be the B squared to complete my Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> now it's time to hear from Michael. Michael. What was I asking guys questions? Whoa! Oh, we just wanna know, okay? Yeah. My most previous crush was a guy named. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you find most attractive in a woman? Ooh. I would say a girl's smile. Ooh. Okay. And their heart. Confidence and also the eyes. For me, it's like a combination of eyes and smile. Ooh. And then I like a girl who's able to communicate. That's key. Key. That's key. That's key. Communication. Yeah. Um, I'll probably say the eyes and the way they carry themselves. I'll probably say like effort that they put effort in. Mm. It's a two-way relationship. Big effort guy. 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 <laughs> Financial stability. Okay. I gotta agree with Dylan. Is the smile like when a girl has a perfect smile? So I would say smile and uh, eyes, but uh, for a different thing, I would say like if a girl just has like a messy bun, it's just so. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. I hate it. Don't like it. Y'all better with no makeup. And if y'all got a hoodie and sweats on, oh, no, hey, man, hoodie and sweats. What, is the what best, did Drake say? Best person. Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's the best. That's the best. So okay, this is well, like, like, if you're going out, I mean, it's if you want to, like, yeah. if you feel comfortable putting makeup on. I feel like no guy's pressuring you to. Yeah. What is the last picture in your camera roll? Oh, oh mine's this one. Also, we're what playing was, volleyball. This is my last one. This, this is my last one. This is my last one. Like, I got gas prices in California. Why did you screenshot this, Henry? It was this morning. <laughs> it was like a robocall or something. Okay, girls do this. If they have a crush, they take the guy's last name and try it out with their name. Do y'all do that? No. 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 Y'all are all capping. No. Y'all are all capping. No, no, no. That is cap. I do do that. What does it feel like falling in love? Oh, Ooh. man. Wait, what if you've never been That's such a complex answer. Oh. Ain't no rush. How I think Dylan should start this one. Yeah, I'll start, I'll start this one off. Yeah, I love the love boy. boy. It's very scary. It's like a feeling that you get like when you wake up in the morning, it's like she's just always on your mind. As you're going about your day, it's like just the little things that she does is like in the back of your head and like they never leave. I would say, similar to Dylan, there's nothing that would be able to jeopardize this young relationship if you're in love. Yes. That's a big thing. If you, if you love her, there's nothing about her that is not attractive to you that you don't find appealing that you don't really yeah. look forward to seeing or hearing mm -hmm. about every single day. So that's what I would say. I good think, answer, good answer. I yeah. think falling in love is going the extra mile and the extra step every single second to do anything for her. Like spend your last dollar for her. Mm -hmm. Do anything to make her happy. Have y'all ever liked the same girl as your friend? And if so, how did it go? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. I just um, I, I set my feelings aside, I guess. Bros before. <laughs> Gross <laughs> <laughs> for what? Yes, I did. Mm. It was back in high school. How'd it go? I ended up stealing a girl from him. Yeah. We had decided, kind of like one, to just kind of leave her alone because, her alone. yeah, because we actually found out she had feelings for both of us too. It's not good if she's liking both of us at the same time and we like both her at the same time. So we just moved on. Classic Twilight situation. We both agreed, kind of like one to step back, but he tried to pursue her, but double she, double yeah, cross the stage, but she actually wanted to date me, and it's a funny story, we actually ended up dating. Baby, now you got bad blood. <laughs> Everybody hold up the number three. What are you doing? It's okay. definitely the, the, so it's the only, you're the only one that did it right. <laughs> Wait, right? What? <laughs> this, this is the right way. way. This is the right way. 
Do you think men should always pay for dinner? If, if, you, if you invite someone somewhere, you should pay. I think if you get into an advanced you know, relationship and it's more of a partnership, I think it's probably more, it mm -hmm. should be a little more balanced 50-50, but starting out, if you're the guy and you're initiating things, then you should be the one that's paying. I think, honestly, the man should always pay, and that's what I've always done on the first date. So, but what about, just always, always. Like, always. What about just dates? Well, always, yeah, I think it should be whoever invites, whoever makes the plans should pay. As you get further in the relationship, it should be 50-50. Exactly, like in the dating stage, well, while you're still younger, whoever initiates the date should pay for the date. I feel like as a man, we're told to provide, but also if the girl invites you, I feel like a man should still step up and pay because it's like, it's just the kindness of your heart. If the girl initiates it and y'all do go, she pays for the dinner. But if y'all do something else, the guy pays for it. What is the best deodorant and why? Duff for men. It's species. It's species. It's species. It's species. It's species. It's species. So it's a dollar general. Yeah, it's a yeah, 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 dollar general. general. It's really cheap. Yeah. One dollar. It's and it literally lasts for like 30 minutes. It's so yes. good. <laughs> you just gotta reapply it every time. The way you have it in your back pocket the whole day. 30 minutes. minutes. They didn't have that. What about the old spice? Girls do wear old spice. I don't understand. It's nice. It's nice. I would say it's six or seven. That's good. Is that all the questions? That's all I have. Good job, guys. I like the sound. Michael Starr. The sound. Thank no, you for hurts. watching. Oh, yes. Boy, hit blue for me. Please like and subscribe. Hey, by the way, yeah, my boy Michael. You know, you know. We're trying to find Michael's yeah. first kiss. Yeah, <laughs> Michael's first kiss. We, we are. Do y'all like y'all's marshmallows burnt or crisp? Burnt. Crisp. 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 We're done. <laughs> if it's burnt, it has carcinogens. So I wanted to do like in the this hallway. Angle. I'm trying to stay out. Dude, that's still for the You okay, Juanita? Okay.